I am going to discuss about the place and value of primary surgery in ovarian cancer, whether women should or could be operated when the cancer comes back again and comes back again and also in palliative situations. Palliative means when it's not really about being able to remove the tumour but uh, when the patients have uh, high symptoms and, com and, and problems and, and, and pain bowel obstruction, what is the value of surgery there. So I'm just going to give an overview about what the pathways are, what are the indications are, what the, um, what, what the patients should uh, look out in those types of situations or where they should go. Well, every patient is uh, special and for every patient the treatment should be individualized. There is no question about that. What I'm going to make clear is that we need specialized centers that uh, should be willing to take on the surgeries. Um, in the UK we have cancer centers, of course, that are dedicated for the treatment of, uh, of cancer, of women cancers. However, it is um, some cases need an extra expertise and it is important that uh, the patients who really need that are being referred to bigger centers that are specialized to those challenging cases. So it's about the, um, the expertise of the whole team. The combination of chemotherapy and surgery is the golden combination for primary ovarian cancer. When the cancer comes back again, uh, then surgery is not always the answer, but uh, novel systemic treatments, therapies that are um, much more advanced now than they used to be a few years ago. Uh, there are some women who benefit at relapse from surgery, but not all of them, so it's not definitely the rule that patients need to be operated. And it's important um, not to identify those women who will benefit from surgery, but also to identify the right team to treat those women. There is uh, no medical or surgical, there is no medical or surgical or any treatment that we as doctors can offer that does not have side effects. There isn't. Even the aspirin or the paracetamol that we take can have side effects. And the same applies to surgery. The same applies to chemotherapy. 100% of women lose their hair when they have primary chemotherapy for ovarian cancer. So it, it's, it's surgery is not that it has extra complications, it's just that like all medical treatments, also surgery has some side effects, yeah? Um, depending on uh, the rate of, of, of issues after the operation depend on uh, the quality and the expertise of the team, but also depend on the journey of the patient. A patient who has much more comorbidities, has had a lot of treatment in the past, has extra additional diseases, like uh, additional to the ovarian cancer, so it's, it's more sick in a more general way, of course this woman would have a much higher risk of having a complication than somebody who is healthy. There isn't a procedure. Every procedure is very strongly individualized for what the patient needs. Uh, of course, the surgery as a whole, across all specialties in all countries, of course evolves, like medical treatment evolves. We have new instruments, we have better instruments, we have better perioperative care. Our patients now go much quicker home, stand up much quicker after the operation than they used to in the past. I remember in the past, after cesarean section, we used to keep the patients in, in the hospital for a week, yeah, and now they go home the next day. So everything evolves. It's not just surgery. And of course, nothing is static. Nothing is static. No, I think what is important is that women um, and patients, they need to fight. So we fight for them, but they also need to fight. We need to fight together. Uh, it's not that we as gynae oncologists can offer the one solution, operate and we solve everything. It's a journey that we make together and I need, we need the strength of the women to be able to, to fight the disease. Is it with surgery, is it with chemotherapy, is it with new targeted agents? But we are a team and um, this is what always I discuss with, with my patients before I operate them. Mm -hmm.